Hey hi this is Varsha and welcome to the QA world in my YouTube channel so today in this session I'll show you about the CSS selector so in selenium using CSS selector we can find a web element on the back page and it is little similar to the X path but there is a, some different tricks and tips so I'll show you with one demo of uh, firstcry.com here you can get proper solution like how we can use the CSS selectors so owning to the fact while creating CSS selector or XPath, it requires a lot of efforts and practice. So please practice from your side also so you can more comfortable in writing CSS selector. And for XPath writing, I have already created few videos. I'll uh, copy this videos uh, in the description box. So please check and watch yeah so here i'm sharing my screen and uh, i'm showing you how we can write css selector for finding any web element on web page so before starting we have to know like what is exactly the css so css is a stand for cascading style sheet and css describe how html element should be displayed got it so on the back page how the element should be display and how we can represent this element in the back form so uh, i'm showing you uh, the multiple ways uh, to use writing a css selector for finding a particular web element on the back page okay so here i'm uh, using first one is a class name like how we can use a class name while writing a css yeah, so here I am using the firstcry.com and uh, I'll show you how we can write the CSS selector uh, based on the class name. So let me inspect this particular search field and as we are seeing like uh, in this HTML code we have ID and class type autocomplete and value as well. There is a multiple attributes inside the input tag. So let me copy the class name and uh, my tag name is input dot my class name. I simply enter the class name but it is giving me no matching. Why? Because whenever we are giving a attribute value in CSS selector there should not be any gap and as you are seeing like in this particular class name there is a one gap after this text so we have to fill this gap by using simply single dot so yes as you are seeing this is a perfectly matched one of one so whenever you are seeing any gap in, in between a class name you have to simply add single dot okay so this is my particular css selector for based on the class name so let me paste here and uh, what's my next is id so how we can find a css selector for using id so as you are seeing like in this particular tag we have id as a search box okay so using this id i can write the css selector for this particular search field so this is my tag name and my id is hash id name is search box so what exactly syntax we are using here let me tell you first like for css selector id we have to pass tag name and hash and then id okay so this is a basically syntax what we have to follow let me copy it yeah so this is my tag name and this is my id for this particular search field and what is next css selector attribute so for this css selector attribute we have to use particular syntax for writing css selector uh, as we are using same syntax, uh, almost same syntax, not fully same uh, in XPath writing. So if you have not watched my XPath writing uh, in different ways videos, please go and watch them. There is a multiple uh, videos which whatever what I have created and uh, I will add the uh, video link in this description box and uh, comment box as well. So you can watch. It will be really, really helpful for you and you can give a proper picture for writing a different 
types of expat okay so what exactly syntax we are using here tag name and square bracket and any attribute any attribute and the value of attribute okay so this particular syntax we will use here let me show you like uh, in this uh, particular search field we have multiple attributes so here i am using any uh, other attribute uh, after this id or class name as we have type okay so let me use this type here my tag name is input and simply opening a square bracket and attribute is type and the value of attribute is search so it's also giving me one of one so for the same search field for this single web element on the web page we can write multiple css selector using different techniques let me copy this particular css selector and paste it here so here let me tell you how we can write the css selector for combination here so what exactly combination we have to use let me tell the syntax here tag name and any attribute like i if you are using id here so you have to use hash if you are using class name so you have to simply use dot okay so here i am using hash as a id and uh, the id name is and then what exactly attribute i want to use here and the value of this particular attribute so this is the basically combination of id and attribute so let me tell you like how we can use this and uh, as we have id for this particular search field like search box and uh, my tag name is input so if i am use if uh, as i am using id so i am using here hash and my id name search box and i am using here any class uh, class as a attribute and the value of this particular class yeah so this way you can see like we also getting one of one magic so this is the combination of writing css selector as a id and attribute let me paste it here okay so what are the remaining four css selectors like first child last child and a child and at last child so let me tell you as you are seeing like there is a one list okay so in this list we have multiple web elements like voice fashion girls fashion food wear toys diapering and so on okay so if there is a list and if you want a first element of this particular list and last element of this particular list so how you can find it so let me tell you the one specific way uh, first let me just expand it and inspect so inside this ul tag we have multiple allies which is hovering on this boys fashion girls fashion footwear toys diapering gears bag element okay so how we can write the particular css selector using this so let me use now first child and to reach this ally tags we have to traverse from the parent tag so this is the parent tag like div and the and i am using here class name so we can easily traverse to ally tag so let me use the tag name is div and as i am using class name so i'm just simply passing dot and this is my class name and inside this class we have ul tag and inside ul ul we have multiple allies so as you can see let me hide it there is a 15 matchings so inside the ul tag we have multiple around 15 different tab elements so if i want first element of this particular list so i am using here simply first child okay let me just use colon and simply pasting 
first child. So this first child will return me the first web element of this particular list. As you are seeing, it's hovering on all categories here, all categories. And if I want this last child of this particular list, so I have to just simply write the last child and it's particularly hovering on the characters, right? So this way we can write you uh, write the CSS selector using first child, nth child or indexing basically we can say indexing for this particular child. Let me also copy the last child so it will be useful for you and how we can use the nth child. So if, uh, if you want to like uh, if you want to find any particular web element or uh, particular element on this list based on the numbers basically. So how you can write this CSS selector. So let me just open this window and uh, this is my class. I missed it. So I'm just again typing ul and li so here i am using nth child this is my nth child and i want to hear uh, third number web element so this is so this is my first all category second one is voice fashion third is girl fashion so i am just simply giving third as you as i already told in my previous videos like in html we have if we are using indexing so it will be always used always start by the one not zero so if i want any like uh, any other web element like toys so it is on fifth place so let me just simply give the fifth okay so it is highlighting on the toys so this way we can find nth child on a particular list and how we can use the nth child list, last child. Yeah, so be careful on this basic, basically this point. Like what is the difference between nth child and, and nth last child? So basically this nth last child is starting from the end. It's counting from the end basically. So as you can see in this list, it will start from the cutters in the last okay so if i want to traverse any specific web element from the last so based on that i have to give the values let me use this nth last child here last child and i'm just simply giving one so one is overing on the carters because it is my last element of this particular list and if i want to find second last web element on this list so i'm just simply giving two and it is over on club so in this way i can find any web element from the last so let me just copy it yeah so these are the multiple ways around it that we can use writing css selector so sometimes I saw like people's are having, people's are uh, good in writing X path, simple basic, basic X path and finding web elements using different attributes. But once we are asking them for writing a CSS selector, so they are losing their confidence. So that's why I created this video. Please go and practice from your side. It will be really helpful for you. And I hope this video is helpful for you and it will be giving you a proper picture for writing a particular CSS selector.